Thank you, Chairman Hatch. Thank you, Ranking Member Feinstein and all the members of the committee for the opportunity to be here with you today. I'm proud to join my friend and Indiana colleague, Senator Young, in introducing Holly Brady, who has been nominated to the Northern District of Indiana, and J.P. Hamlin, who has been nominated to the Southern District of Indiana. Before I speak about these two nominees, I would also like to take a moment to recognize Chief Judge Jane Magnus Stinson of the United States District Court for the Southern District of Indiana, who has served our state for many years and has made the time to attend this hearing with us today. I would also like to recognize the people who are here supporting Holly and JP today. Holly is joined by a large contingent who made the trip from Fort Wayne, including among other dedicated family members, her husband, Mike, her three children, Nick, AJ, and Megan, her mom, Diane, and her brothers, Rob, Terry, Tony, and Andy. That sounds like quite a crew of brothers to me. JP is joined today by his wife, Molly, his three children, Eleanor, Burke, and Greer, his parents, Dee and Mike, his sister, Kelly, his longtime friend, Greg Schumann, and Murray Clark, his colleague from Fagri, Baker, and Daniels. I'm sure they are very, very proud of both of your accomplishments. In speaking with Holly and JP, it was clear that they're both skilled attorneys who share a passion for public service and have deep ties to our state and to their communities. Holly has worked in private practice in Fort Wayne since 1994, where she's handled a wide range of matters, from labor and employment to real estate to constitutional issues. This breadth of experience is sure to be an asset as she adapts to the role of a judge and tackles the various issues that come before our district courts. Outside of her professional work, Holly has dedicated significant time to pro bono efforts, community service, and legal education outreach, especially to young Hoosiers. She's been actively involved with the Fort Wayne Sexual Assault Treatment Center and the Northern District of Indiana Federal Community Defenders. She regularly volunteers her time to speak to middle school students about legal practice. I believe the Northern District of Indiana will be well served by someone with such a dedication to the law. JP has had a distinguished legal career, which has led to him serving as the co-chair of the White Collar Defense and Investigations Group of a 750 lawyer international law firm. Outside of his practice, JP has made sure to use his talents to help serve the Indianapolis community. He's taught at Indiana University's Robert McKinney School of Law and has served in leadership roles for organizations dedicated to providing opportunities for Hoosiers. His five-year stint as an assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Indiana highlights his dedication to serving the public and his ability to maintain a demanding practice while also devoting time to giving back to his community is proof of his work ethic. These are characteristics that are imperative for any federal judge, but they're especially important right now to the Southern District of Indiana, which is currently facing a judicial emergency and has one of the highest weighted caseloads of any district court in the nation. I believe Holly and JP are qualified attorneys who are committed to ensuring the administration of justice in Indiana's district courts. I'm proud to introduce my fellow Hoosiers. I look forward to hearing their testimony as well as your questions about their nominations. And I look forward to hearing from my friend and colleague, Senator Young. 